Hey, what's happening everyone? My name is Ryan and today I wanted to show you how you can get a cinematic interior scene without any studio lighting. Let's get into it. This technique is great if you're looking to practice your skills as a cinematographer or you're just looking to shoot your first film but don't have the budget for any lighting gear. This is also great for those who are in a situation where lighting gear isn't an option. Now there are a few different types of projects where some DPs like all of the lights and some DPs like no light at all and opts to just bend the ambient light that's within the room. That's relative to the project but there are so many different reasons for choosing either one. Whatever the case, I feel like practicing these kinds of techniques are really good for building your skills and also you just never know when you're gonna need to strip everything down and use the bare minimum. This is also just a super fun challenge for me so let's get started and see what we can come up with. Alright so before we can get into a setup like this we first need to talk about gear. Specifically for a shot like this I tend to opt for a camera that has a decent amount of dynamic range meaning that I'm gonna retain a lot of information in my highlights and in my shadows that way nothing is baked in and I have more room to manipulate the image in post. Now you can Definitely just use whatever you have, like a smartphone for example, like I have here. I actually ended up trying to get the same shot just by using my iPhone so that I can show you what that looks like. And I was actually pretty shocked by the results that I got. However, there's a lot more that goes into that, so I'm saving that for another video. If that's something that you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments down below. Today we're going to use my Sony FX3. Now you probably see all the bells and whistles that are on this thing right now. You actually don't need all of this stuff that's on my camera. It's only set up this way because I was on set of a film project earlier this morning, so I kind of just left everything on, threw it on the tripod, and started filming this scene. But you absolutely don't need all of this stuff. All you really need is the camera and a good focal length. Now that we've selected our camera, let's get into the setup. First, you're going to want to expose for your window light. Now, we just covered this topic in an older video. Go ahead and check that out, how to expose for your window light. That required some studio lighting to make it work. However, we're not going to do that here today. I've chosen to film this in a very bright room with lots of window light. There's actually a window to my right that's lighting that half of my face. I decided to shoot this just a little bit past noon because I knew that the sun was going to be peeking right through the window, right on my face, giving us some hot spots and some harsh shadows in comparison. So what we want to do next is diffuse our sunlight. If you've been watching the channel for a little bit, you know that I like to use white muslin, but there's so many different fabrics that you could use out there. You could even use a white bed sheet if that is all you have. But I just clamped this onto a C-stand and raised it up as high as it can go so that way it covered the whole window. And it started to look really great. Great. But the only thing was is that I wanted to look a little bit more realistic with the sunspots on the table and on some of the gear on the table. So I just took the muslin and I wrapped it up and put it off to the side. So that way half of it was covering me and the other half was lighting up the table, giving off for a little bit more of a realistic look as if sun was peeking through the window in front of me, which I guess it was. <laughs> Once I had my light diffused, I noticed that I needed just a little bit more depth in the shot. So I decided to add negative fill. The negative fill was just a black curtain that I have lying around. I do have proper negative fill. However, I like using this black curtain because one, it dampens the sound and two, I like that it just slides right into the C-stand. It's super easy and that helps when you're filming by yourself. <laughs> After I placed my negative fill, I just wanted to lift the shadows on my face just a little bit more. Now there wasn't really any space for a white card and and because we're not using any additional studio lighting, I had to get a bit creative. So I just took this white piece of paper and I laid it down on the table, letting the sunlight hit that and that bounce off onto my face. This isn't making a huge difference, but it definitely helps a little bit when you get into post and you have a little bit more information in the shadows to work with. After this, I just sprayed a little bit of haze in the room. Now I use haze a lot in these tutorials. I know, but I like to use haze in interior scenes like this because sometimes you can get those light beams that shine in through the window, really directing the light. And also because this is one of the least expensive ways that you can add depth to your scene and really get that film-like cinematic look. So I just really like it personally. I use my haze machine, but there are different options online that you can buy like aerosol. You can get a two pack for about $35 there. And that is it my friends. Here is the final look, starting with just the window light, then our diffusion and negative fill and then of course our haze. So this is just a really cool way to practice your cinematography if you don't have any lighting gear. My goal really is to inspire and encourage you and help you along your journey and really hopefully just equip you to just get out there and make your next film. Well, that's gonna do it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. If you like this video or you learned something, please click the like button down below. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Laters.